There's Sarah, standing in the bedroom of our new beacon right before they secured the roof to it. When our frame hit the production floor, and our completed unit rolled out of the facility. We were there for it. Elkhart, Indiana is the RV capital of the world. We spent some time there going on some plant tours but where we're going is over 600 miles south of there. We're in Memphis, Tennessee. We're after renting our car, it's still a two hour drive to a small town called Burnsville, Mississippi, the home of Van Lee RV. So look at that, that's a frame of a fifth wheel being towed right there. Oh gosh, we are so excited to share this video with you. We've been looking forward to it. And a huge thank you to Van Lee for hosting us and allowing us to be part of the process that we're about to show you. I mean, it's such a unique opportunity. How many people get to be <laughs> part of a process where they watch their rig get built from frame all the way out to the time that it exits the plant? And really what it did for me is it just, I love this thing. It's mine, it made it mine, and the you know, you can't take it away from me. We had no expectations going into this. We really didn't even know what was gonna happen. So we walked into the plant and there is our frame, right? Just sitting just there. Just by itself. Ready to go. This is like a overwhelming process. So that they, they told us that we could ask the workers any questions that we wanted to ask as they are going through it. I was just taking it all in. There was just so much to take in because I mean, the frame sitting there, they're throwing the suspension on, they're, they're starting to throw on the, the jacks, the tanks, the, tanks. the plumbing. I, there's all just... the electri electrical stuff. I mean, you were fascinated by fascinated by all of that stuff. The problem is, is it wasn't happening so fast. You were just, and it I was, could tell you were just overwhelmed. It was first day. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I didn't know exactly where, <laughs> if I could walk up and ask those questions. Mm -hmm. I got more comfortable later and you I did. asked the questions, right? It was a little surreal though, that, that first couple steps. But have you ever seen your rig upside down? because at that first station, they flip it to put it on the underbelly. I hope that's the last time we see our rig upside down. It better be. <laughs> so it's amazing to watch how things are progressing because it's a flatbed trailer, but it's starting to resemble an RV. It is like, I mean, the washer and dryer's in place. We've got the kitchen. We and got a full, a full bathroom. bathroom already. We were surprised that this early on, mm -hmm. they were actually pressure testing. Mm -hmm. They hooked up water and making sure that there was no leaks. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's there's a lot going on right here in this little area, but I couldn't keep, <laughs> I could I wasn't focused. I couldn't keep my eyes You're off. looking ahead because there's cool stuff ahead. There's big things happening next. It was the walls. The walls. <laughs> Yeah, the walls were a cool process, but then Brian looked over to the side and sees our end cap sitting there. So there's the fiberglass cap sitting there, like just there. And I went over to check it out and it meant the employees were so cool. Mm -hmm. They came over to us and they told us that they're getting ready to drill the lights into the cap. I don't know why this is so interesting. I love well, lights. Oh, really cool. Yeah, you're a light guy. But they, I don't know. They... We got to see the whole thing. And then we got to watch them try it for the first time. We got to see our lights come on. How cool yeah, is that? we got that to watch our awesome. lights power up on the back of the rig for the first time with the cap off on the workbench. <laughs> we were like little kids so excited <laughs> about everything. <laughs> There's so many big transitions happening. So much happening around the rig, but I, we could see the next station of what's going on, and it's the roof. They build the roofs just right off to the side of the assembly line, and as the unit rolls down to the assembly line, they have the roof 
sitting next to the assembly line ready to be pulled up on top of the unit. So it's actually down below and what was neat is an employee came over and got me and said, hey, you need to come see this. You need to come see underneath. So I got to go underneath, right? It was just right above my head and I got to look up at all of our vents and, and where the lighting's gonna go and so that was, that was fun. Okay, so <laughs> that's the one thing. These All these employees yeah. were so cool to us. They knew that it was our rig and so mm -hmm. they would come grab us and show us things because while she was down there going underneath, another employee invited me to go up on the mezzanine so now i'm up top looking into our rig that has just walls no no roof no <laughs> roof our roof is down to the side i mean it's just how often do you get to see and it happened the whole process it the nicest people and they were excited for us because they knew it was our rig and to show us little things that we didn't even know about just hey come look at this look what just got finished that that made it just that much better of an experience. Anyway, I, I, there was one guy that kept telling us that, is that your rig? I'm gonna make sure we take t special care of it. Somebody at Van Lee told me that their favorite part of the whole process is the slides. And the reason why they said that, they said that the slide is like the miniature version of the whole process because it has the membrane, it has the like the vinyl and the carpet in it, it has mm -hmm. the electrical and the furniture in it, which is true. Mm -hmm. And they it's a build, mini version. Yeah, they build the slides off, just right off the production line. And they're totally, and these slides are huge. These are eight foot slides, they're ginormous. <laughs> so when the unit pulls up to that area, the slides are ready to just be dropped in and they have the furniture in them. And, and again, they're protecting Everything's everything. Everything's protected. The furniture is, is all covered mm -hmm. up and the fridge is covered with cardboard, the woodwork's covered. Because we have opposing slides, eight foot tall, when, you know, you get to see all the way directly through it before we got our slides in, put in. It, you know what, it was actually kind of, it was weird it was. because you see our rig sitting there with these two big square chunks mm -hmm. out of it. I wish I would have gone up into the rig and <laughs> I don't know, got a picture, waved that at it or something. Cool. I asked, have you ever dropped a slide? You're like the only person that would ask that. They, they said they haven't dropped a slide. You know, they've had to drop a slide with all the rigs they manufacture. I've asked it on other factory tours as well. How often do you guys drop a slide? They also said they haven't dropped a slide. I think someone, I don't think someone's telling the truth. <laughs> I don't even know why you care. <laughs> Did we mention anywhere that Van Lee uses real hardwood hmm. through the rig? The wood cabinetry is gorgeous. One of the things I, I loved about going into one of the Van Lees is it had white cabinets and they were solid wood cabinets. These are solid wood cabinets. They have their own cabinet shop, huge cabinet shop, where they're producing all of the woodwork for all these rigs and then they're trucking it over, it's, trucking, it's a couple hundred <laughs> feet away from the main line and then installing it into these things. And that was a fascinating part for me to watch them. They're cutting the wood. There's different stations where they're staining the wood. You know, and then ours are painted, so that goes through a different process, so they paint that. And we even got a little bucket of paint to take with us for touch-ups. Yeah, we got some touch-up paint. So now after the slides are in, we walked into it, all the electronics are in. It's it's actually it's actually a full functioning rig. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we could have hooked up to it at that point and took off. Except, you know, it needed a little paint on it. Unless you want it to be gray. It actually kinda looks cool without yeah. the paint. It looks pretty bad. We could have wrapped it. <laughs> I like it better. So now our rig goes out the doors for the first time. First time it sees the day. It 
goes out to their little test site where they do full hookups and they test for water leaks, they test the slides, basically all the functionality of everything. And this is another place that the employee was extremely helpful and knowledgeable. Yeah. She's walking me through a full all on from, lesson you got from her. Yeah, she, she taught me everything. Mm -hmm. She was teaching me how the valves work and everything that she tests and she's walking me through it, testing the slides, showing me the electrical test. And you know what the best part was? We got to see our rig take its first dump. <laughs> you know that's awesome. <laughs> you, you know that's awesome. I don't know. You are the dump guy. <laughs> so now it swings out onto the other side of the plant which is basically just like a line where they do all the finishing work inside of it because it's it's ready to go we mm -hmm. could still hook up <laughs> you still want to hook up but just like when we built our house and we got to go through the blue tape process of putting blue tape on things we went through the green tape process where we actually got to put green tape on any little anything we saw around here that we wanted to be fixed well there's a there's a person that their entire shift mm -hmm. i think it was like 90 minutes in mm -hmm. our in our rig was going around marking all the things that need to be addressed. And then she grabbed a roll of green tape, brought it to us, and she said, here, mark some things. And we did. Well, we were hesitant at first, but then we were like, okay, we'll mark it with you. But she actually marked everything. She did. She we did, only, yeah. We only marked a I didn't feel things. bad about all the mark, anything I did after I watched how much she did. She was very thorough with it. So while all those other units are on that finishing process, it was kind of them to see the other floor plans and where they're at in their finishing process. And then we got to watch like the inspectors walking like the roofs and then mm -hmm. when, when then they see an issue on the rigs, they take like a marker and they would actually write on the side of the rig what the issue is. Yeah, and I thought it was really cool because we got to see them put decals on some of the different rigs on the Volanos. On the, yeah, on the Volanos, they do it on and, site there. And then the beacons, they do it at the paint shop. Mm -hmm. I felt really bad filming the girl putting on the stickers. I actually, I was kind of hiding behind one of the rigs because I felt bad. She's sitting there doing her job. I could, I, I could never do that job. I could never get them straight and perfect. So but that's why I was taking video of her because she was doing such a good job. I'd watched her on one before and she just kind of eyeballs it and puts it on there. <laughs> looks great. These rigs are getting heavy. So as they move the rigs to the plant, they're always moving them by manpower. So when they first started off, they're just like one person sliding things around. Pretty soon it's like two, pretty soon it's three. It's four. And four then more. pretty soon it's like the whole crew's out there push them. It's like Van Lee has their own exercise yeah, program. I'm just glad I wasn't pushing it. Kind of felt bad though, because every time they're pushing, we just have to take a video. <laughs> it's true, they're probably like, what are these guys? These guys are weird. It's time for the best part though. It's like the best part. I mean, it came off the production line. That was probably one of the most exciting things is when it came outside. I ran outside to get video because I wanted to see it coming out of the garage and there it was completed. That was, it was a cool part. So once it comes out of the plant, that's where it goes to its next PDI process. So it rolls out front, they go through everything, and then from there, they hitch up and they drag it on up down to about 30 miles mm -hmm. to Belmont, Mississippi. And that is where Tiffin has a big paint plant where they paint all their products, all their uh, Class A's and all the Van Lees. So once it gets its paint done at Belmont, they also put the Beacon logos on, and then they hook up to it, drag it, back to Burnsville. That's where they do its last PDI before it gets shipped off to the dealership. But we had one last request. So, I mean, sitting there, Lee Tiffin's office was there. We had a little idea. You know, it's like what we, if you watch the last video, you know that we call it a signature series. Really, it meant a lot to me and he personalized it just for us. Here we go. There you go. It's headed to Tulsa. Enjoy. Thanks, Lee. What an absolutely incredible experience. It was probably right up there with one of my top ones ever. How many people can say that they've watched their rig get built from frame out the door? It's just like, it was a crazy experience. And again, we want to thank the folks at Van Lee, Lee and Chase. 
You guys have been rock stars through the entire process. And we're gonna take a bunch of solar all over the top of this thing, and we're gonna go places we've never been before. It's gonna take us to great places. I'm super excited about that. And speaking of before, if you wanna see a walkthrough of our rig and all the special features that Van Lee offers, you need to watch our last video mm -hmm. that we'll put a link to up there and down Somewhere. below. And if you have any comments about this video or questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See ya.